Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some Mark of the Ninja Remastered. Uh, I have played this game before, in fact I'm quite familiar with it. Uh, I got it on Steam years and years ago, the non-remastered version, uh, and I absolutely loved it, which is why I've got it now on Switch. So I pretty much know what to expect, I'm just seeing what they've done with this version. Uh, it's a si like a side-scrolling stealth game, basically, and... It's really, really good. Uh, Clay Entertainment worked on some other games that I really loved, like Eats, uh, which has now been removed from the Steam store. It's really annoying, uh, since you can't buy that game anymore, even though it was really good. Oh well. Uh, anyway, yeah, Marco the Ninja. Um, so that's the ninja there that you play as. Uh, that looks fine to me. Yeah, it looks fine. Okay, so uh, this is the first level. It is level-based. Uh, you can see uh, there's a little description of what the level is. At the bottom there, you can see there's a bunch of like grayed-out shapes. Those are optional objectives, so you do need to replay, replay levels to do stuff uh, that you might have missed. The cutscenes are pretty nice. Most of the stuff they're doing here you can actually do in the game. It gives you a lot of options. Also, yeah, there's some blood. Um... Okay, so we just got a tattoo, basically. Hang on, I'll turn on subtitles to make it a bit easier. Don't understand what's happening. On. Put commentary on as well. I won't be looking at it in this playthrough, but just, just, you know, why not? Okay, there we go. So this is my ninja here. As you can see, I'm moving quite slowly. Uh, you can move faster by holding ZR like this, but you can see that's putting out noise. Uh, you want to try to be quiet, so... Basically, you want to sort of go at slow speed most of the time. Oh, uh, that's a commentary track. You can interact with that if you want to, but you don't have to. Uh, basically, commentary just shows text anyway, so it's not super interesting. You can look around like this with the right analog. It doesn't help you too much, though, because... You can't see things your character can't see. You can see it's all foggy in different areas and you have to sort of peek through doors like this, which is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. And there's a light system that's quite important, of course. There's a lot of stuff in this game, it's good. Uh, I don't have a sword yet. I do need one uh, in order to defeat certain enemies. Or any enemies. I can't do anything without it, really. Watch out. They're coming this way. Okay, so there's a guard. Uh, you can hide here, like this. Uh, these glowing spots, some of them are plants, sometimes there's doors, sometimes there's other stuff. Uh, if you're hidden like this, the guards will not be able to spot you, and they'll just walk past. You'll get okay. some points, as you can Keep see. Me. The point system's not super important, but it does determine, like, some unlockable stuff. So, it's a good idea to try to get lots of points. More of them. Find a place to hide. You duck into a doorway like this, there we go. Uh, if we had a sword, we could actually kill these guards after dodging them, but we can't yet. It's often a good idea not to kill guards anyway. Okay, so yeah, holding ZR, you can see that makes lots of noise, but... Yeah, they, they will hear, the guards will hear the noise and come running, so you got to watch out for that. And yeah, they're, um, basically they're raiding our ninja house and killing everyone, it's pretty sad. Get under that Did ledge. You... From there, you can pull yourself up. Uh, the wall climbing stuff in this game is pretty elaborate too. Uh, and you can also... Here's my sword, I think. Oh, no, that's just a grappling hook. 
Uh, you can use that to just grapple onto ledges. It shows that little icon and you can just lock to where the icon appears. Pretty simple. Uh, over here there's a bit of a sub area. With a hidden item. Uh, this is a scroll. Uh, as you can see, there's three of them in each level. A history of the Hisomu clan, as written by its masters. Five hundred men lie, vanquished before Tetsuji takes off his blindfold. And they're all haiku, yeah. It's a pretty cool detail, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, so yeah, with the, with the vents, you can peek through, but it's pushing towards it. It doesn't seem to work with these ones, though. You start climbing instead. You can usually peek through a vent when it's on the ground, or if you're on the other side like this. You don't need to peek into a little passage like this anyway, so that's fine. Do, do, do. Uh, some more guards here. We still don't have a sword, so we don't want to try to fight them. Uh, the grapple does make some noise, but not very much. You can see how big the shockwave is to get an idea of how much noise it makes. It's not too much. Good thing you were out cold. Looks like they don't know you're alive. Sometimes it can be a problem, though. Uh, so far this looks pretty much the same as the original version of the game. I think it's like at a slightly better resolution or something. And that's why they remastered it, but it doesn't affect much. Okay, I have a sword now. Uh, yeah, you have to be, you have to be stealthy still. You can't just attack people whenever you want. You have to use some sneakiness. The end, of course, is not. If you peek through here, you can see there's a guard up there. Uh, if we had, uh, there are upgrades you can get that let you do different types of attacks. Uh, we can't use most of them yet, but we can do the normal stuff. So, it gives you a little quick time event. If you pull that off correctly, you'll do Silent Assassin, like that, uh, which gives you points. Or you can do Noisy Assassin if you mess it up, basically. Uh, you always want to hide bodies like that. Down in an event, or in one of these hiding places works too. Uh, but these vents let you hide lots of bodies, so they're better. Uh, pretty simple. Whoop. He just want to climb up this wall. Oop. There's a guard there. Uh, you can kill him down here, as you can see. Now I'll just throw him down. There we go. Leap of faith. Uh, if you want to hide the body, you have to take it back a bit farther, like this. There you go, body hidden. If you want to get the points from body hidden, you can like use one of those cupboards and just swap the body that's hidden, which is kind of funny. Uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but it works. Uh, these are like story checkpoint thingies. They don't do a whole lot. Uh, here you'll get the uh, throwing knives, which are kind of important. Oh, darts. Uh, they don't damage enemies, but you can hit an enemy with them to get their attention, which is sometimes useful. Uh, and they activate from your stuff. Has honed your senses. Focus your thoughts, and you can freeze time in your mind. Oh yeah, you also have this sort of focus mode you can do that lets you freeze time and lock in on targets at the same time, like this. Which is a pretty cool trick. <laughs> if you need more cover, you could always destroy the lights. Oh uh, yeah, you can throw your, your little darts at lights, which will make a noise and get guards' attention. Uh, so that's something to watch out for. You can also do this. It looks like I already have a lot of upgrades that you would normally have to buy in the original. I might have changed that for the remastered version. I'll just leave that guard. You don't have to take out the guards. It's only if they're in the way that you might want to get rid of them. Uh, there's a light here, but it doesn't do much because there's, you know, nothing to see you when you're in that light. It's okay to be in light, provided no one sees you, so that's fine. Uh, this vent, you're going to want to have a quick peek just to see there's a guard there. And you're going to want to do something like this. Uh, which takes out the guard and hides their body at the same time, which is handy. You could also hit that gong there uh, with your uh, darts to distract the guard, but this way is probably easier. If you're trying to do a no kills run, which I've done before in this game, uh, it would be better to distract them instead to sneak past. But uh, if you're doing you know a normal amount of kills run, then kills is fine, obviously. Uh, here, if you throw a dart at this uh, chandelier here, which I'm going to do, it will fall on both those guards and take them out. Like that. Which is handy if you wanted to have fewer guards to deal with. Uh, back here there's a scroll. 
we snap off a branch to make a way. So far, this looks pretty much the same the as the version I've already played. It's nice to have it on the Switch, though. It's interesting that... Oh, you can use the D-pad. That's right. Okay, so the D-pad's used to switch between different items. We only have darts right now, but there's more later. You can't use it for movement, which is a little annoying because the game doesn't actually have, like, analog movement, really. Maybe it does, a little bit? Maybe? I think you only have one, basically one movement speed, which is quite slow, and then a run button, so... I don't know. The digital movement fits here better anyway, because of the way stealth works. I like to close doors behind myself. It's partly, partly just for tiredness, and partly because if a guard comes by, sees an open door, they might be suspicious. Okay, so that light, you can see it's covered in like a metal thing. You cannot break that light. Uh, but you can distract that guard by zapping uh, that gong over there, which is what we're going to do. Like that, get their attention. Then they'll walk over that way, and we can just sneak in behind them and wait here until they move back to their spot, basically. <laughs> you can see we can't really see where the guard is, but we can see the light. Um... The ability of the character to see things is pretty important in this game. There's a lot of detail went into that. It's pretty cool. Okay, so the guard's back in their position now, so we can just hop over here and just keep going uh, without having to actually disturb them. Those birds made some noise, but there wasn't anyone close enough to hear them, so not a problem. See that door? Uh, Don't open it yet. Just lean against it and try to sense what's on the other side. Yeah, if you lean against a door, you can actually see straight through it somehow. It's something to do with the magic tattoo that also lets you freeze time, I think. Pretty handy trick. Okay, so there's a scroll in that room, which I want. Uh, there's also a guard in that room, which I don't want. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to head uh, up this way. There's usually a couple of different routes through each level, but it's mostly pretty linear. There's just a little bit of flexibility. Enough, I think. Uh, I'm going to take out both these lights, like this. And then it'll be dark in that room, which will make it a bit easier. I'm just going to wait around a little bit for the guard to stop being distracted, basically. Because they can spot you through the vents if they happen to look in the wrong direction. Ah, <laughs> there we go. So the guard's now back to just patrolling, so what I'm going to do is drop down at the right time and grab that scroll. We do not fear death. Our lives there we go. Cruel, the clan must always endure. Coolio Warriors. Uh, okay, so we have a couple more guards here. That one over there is in the light, and they're standing on a grate down there, so we do want to go that way. Uh, we can't do it with the light there, of course, because we'll get spotted. Uh, what we can do, though, I might just demonstrate this. I'm not sure if I'm in the right position. Uh, that guard might be too far, too far back for that to work. Uh, there is a kill you can do by dangling off of something that lets you, like, hang the guard off the platform, and then other guards that see will be terrified. Uh, I don't think I can do it here though. Let me just take out that light first. What is that noise? I'm gonna duck up here to get out of the way. How many people does it take to Watch out for that light. If they spot you, they will start shooting and. You don't have any guns, you only have a sword, so you've got to be careful. I'm sure <laughs> okay, so the, gun, the light's gone now. Let's drop behind this guy. There we go. Let's see if I can do the... Okay, no, I can't do it yet. I think I have to unlock the ability. Some stuff doesn't start available at the beginning of the game. Ah, I got seen. You guess if I get seen, I just stand still and let myself get shot, just so I restart from the last checkpoint, because the game checkpoints pretty often, and you do lose points for being seen. So it's usually a good idea just to let yourself be defeated if you happen to get spotted. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can get this guy by dangling. No, I can't. Run. Ba -doo -doo -doo. I might not have the access to that dangling move yet. I think it's a late game thing. So if you dangle in the light here, that guard in the dark will see you, so you've got to watch out. Um, 
take that light out, and then I'm gonna go up here. I can. Uh, like we can see the sounds, there's little like sound shock waves and stuff, but we can't see what's actually happening until the guards, until we peek over the edge like this. You can see that gives us a bit more view. Here we'll just drop down once that guard's gone past. Drop in here, there we go. Yeah, we definitely don't have some of the kills yet. There's one you can do from the bottom of an event like that to pull someone inside. I scouted up ahead. They're taking ninja as hostage. Uh, we want to ring all four of these gong gongs to get a seal, as you can see. Basically, the seals are optional missions that you can do. I'll try to do save as I without being detected. Uh, yeah, there's a map in this game as well. I don't think it's that important to use it because the game is fairly linear. You don't usually get lost too much, but it's it's kind of handy to have. Uh, here's another one of the gongs. So that's three of them. I feel like that might have alerted a guard. It did. <laughs> you do have, like, enough health to take a few hits and then survive, but since you lose points, I usually just stand still. Um, so yeah, let's ring the gong and then, and then go up here so that we don't get spotted when the guard comes through. Uh, you got to watch out here because that big spotlight will get you spotted if you happen to just peek up there. Because there's a guard standing right there. Pretty scary. Uh, here's pretty easy though. There we go. Just wait for them to go back inside. And you can just... So yeah, if you mess up the little quick time event thing, like you still get the kill. It's just that rather than um the guard you know, dying silently and it being cool and stuff, the guy gets to scream out and the other guards can see them and you get fewer points. So you don't want to do that, you want to try to get the QTEs when you can. Uh, here you just gotta hold the button down until you've saved the ninja, there we go. There's a few other places in the game like that, besides these ninja rescues. A couple of places where you have to pick locks and stuff. Same basic idea. Let's put that guy in there, there we go. Obviously, like, this would be much harder to do in a no-detection run, saving all the ninja. Uh, I have done a no-detection run of the game, though. Not no-detection, no-kill. But also no-detection, I did both at the same time. Uh, you can unlock different um, power, power sets, basically. There's one that takes away your sword and makes you better at avoiding detection, uh, which is what I was using in that run, I think. Uh, Using focus to aim at different targets is a little fiddly. Uh, you can see that there's little uh, darts appearing for the other two spots there, but I can't actually reach either of them from where I am, which is a bit frustrating. What I will do, I think, is hide over here, and then I should be able... Yep, there we go. To distract that guy, get him to look away, like this. There. Okay, then he'll come over here. Uh, guards, if, if you go into a hiding place and a guard knows you're there, they can pull you out, otherwise they won't, basically. Maybe I'm just hearing things. And we killed as many as we could. But they all yeah, the ah. Run. Shot fire. Ah. You can see the checkpointing is very generous. It's just the start of the room I was just in. I think what I want to do is something like that. Take out the light. That'll distract the guard. What is that? Then when he's walking away, I can unpick the lock. I can pick the, you know, the, the banded, the bindings that tied the ninja so they can't yeah, escape or whatever. It's not a lock, but it works exactly like a lock and has a lock icon, so. We killed as many as we could, but they overwhelmed us. See, because there's no light now, the guard can't see that I'm over here, even though I'm right in front of them. Because they don't point their lights forward by default, they point them downwards, which is a bit silly. Uh, okay, so, how are we doing? Seal progress. It's supposed to show that when you pause, I thought. Maybe it doesn't. I think I had three out of four. The last one's probably in this room. Uh, here, what you want to do is basically time these uh, objects so that they land on your guards. Like this. Um... That's not good. Please don't shoot that ninja. 
I don't know if they can actually hurt the ninjas by shooting them, now I think about it. So yeah, you can see if a guard spots something scary happen, they get terrorized. It looks like this ninja is actually bulletproof, so nothing to worry about. <laughs> That's a bit weird. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we saved all four of them. You can see we have that middle seal now uh, for rescuing all four. Here's the last gong, so we're going to ring that as well. Oh, it's not the last gong. I may have missed one. I don't think I did, though. I'm pretty sure the last one's still here somewhere. Uh, here there's a little artifact you can collect. Those get these extra points. Uh, I'm just gonna wait for that guard to go by. Just whoop up here. There we go. Peek. Mm. Okay, yeah, I can't go that way. You can't climb on, up onto a ceiling above unless it's just like a tiny bit back from where you are. Can go around though. There we go. Oh, where we go? We got a guard down there. A couple of different routes you can take. Uh, I think I'll go this way. Well, the guard isn't turning around, so I could probably just go this way and ignore him. Yeah. <laughs> You pick the wrong guys to rob, Sensei. <laughs> Time for the old man to retire, boys. Okay, so we want to save this guy without being detected uh, to get the last seal. I believe he's also bulletproof, so nothing to worry about there. That was an imperfect kill, so he did make some noise, but there's no one else left, so that's not a problem. So you weren't detected. Easy peasy. Uh, so that's the first level. I actually usually don't watch the cutscenes in this game. We shunned the modern world and its jackals. But today, our enemies have found us. We must strike back. We will fight for our survival and yep. our honor. I foresaw this day would come, and so, I called upon a champion to fight for us. He has accepted the first mark. He will defend the clan at a terrible cost. I kind of wish you could play as that cute girl instead. That would be cool. Uh, so yeah, you can see all the enemies that we defeated give us certain amounts of points. It tallies it up at the end. You get one to three honor circle things based on the number of points you get. You want to get maximum honor by doing everything. Since that basically determines... You use honor to buy upgrades, basically. They will ease the pain. Let me tell you the story of the ink and of the champions who came before you. Before the restoration. As the other clans strayed and disbanded, a merchant sold us a secret. He led us to a flower whose petals burned with toxin. Put the toxins in your skin, and you will gain great and strange powers. But those powers will drag you into madness. That is why every champion vows to end his own life before he destroys himself. And the clan swore Seems like protest. ending your own life and destroying yourself are the same thing. We must act quickly. Count Karajan is the head of Hessian services. He is responsible for the attack on our clan. His tower stands behind ring upon ring of security. You must kill him before he can attack again. An artifact hiding down there, in case you're wondering. <laughs> then you have to go in this way. 
These buildings are protected by high-tech tripwires, but you can wreck them all with a simple bamboo dart. Okay, so these lasers will kill you if, they, if you touch them, so you want to throw a dart over at that electrical box there to switch them off. It gets a bit trickier. Uh, here we've got some moving ones, but you can still just throw a dart. Eventually you'll have to move and dodge through so stuff. Uh, these ones won't kill you, but they'll summon... Destroy that, and you'll bring down uh, I might just demonstrate. When they detect you, the alarm's raised, and that thing becomes a cannon that will kill you. So yeah, you don't want to get detected by those either. You don't have to use focus, you can just press the button, but that doesn't let you aim as precisely. So, focus is good. So yeah, but these, if you hide in a hiding place like this, then... They won't be able to see you, and you can just keep going. Easy peasy. Here you want to go up here, because there's those three lasers there. Uh, here, what you want to do... Ah, uh, he's not, not that. Got detected. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> uh, here what you actually want to do, if I do it correctly, uh, you, want to, you want to follow this guard fairly closely, because the light... The um, security actually switches off when the guards go past. They have some sort of key card or something that they're carrying that will like, disable security wires and things when they come near. <laughs> Same deal with this guard. Just follow nice and close, then those lasers will switch off as they go by. Or you can do something like this. Kill the guard, carry them over to the lasers like this because they're still carrying the key card or whatever. It still works. Uh, but you actually probably want to go this way. So. Doesn't really matter too much. There we go. Come through here. The transformer should be close. But be careful. The cat okay, so we've got a guard right there in front of us. Uh, we want to do. Oh, we want to get doing under a minute. Uh, I'm kind of going slow, so I probably won't worry too much about that. Okay, I haven't got the move to kill people while dangling yet. I forget which moves you have to buy and which ones you start with. Okay, so I made it through there nice and smooth. Oh, we got the seal, cool. I kind of thought we wouldn't. So far, so Need a burrito. Uh, okay, so this part, this is the transformer. You just gotta walk over to it. Press the A button. That breaks it. There we go. And you can head through this way. Slide down here. Grab that artifact if you want. I'm not sure why they put an artifact in all of the path like that instead of hiding it a little bit. Okay, we get some more items now. This is a noise maker. Uh, basically, you can switch between your darts and your other item by doing this. You get uh, distraction items, like a noisemaker or smoke bombs or whatever that go in this left slot. And in the right slot, you get things that can cause damage, well, like uh, spike mines and stuff. You can try to distract him. So uh, the noisemaker, you have a limited supply, I believe. Let's see. Ooh, that's interesting. It didn't say noise range like that in the previous version. I guess that's a change. Interesting. Yeah, you can see I have four of them left. So yeah, you have a limited supply of those. They get refreshed at each checkpoint, though, so nothing much to worry about. There we go. Uh, here it's pretty simple. All you got to do is switch back to your darts. Jump, focus in midair. Throw your dart. There we go. That disables the power here, so these wires stop being deadly, and you can just walk past them. Easy peasy. Okay, so here we've got more lasers. <laughs> um, so what you want to do, basically just switch that off. It's pretty easy. There we go. You can switch off that one as well if you want. I'll let you go down here. You don't really need to, though. <clears throat> There's no real reason to go down there. Uh, here, there's a guard there. So we're going to want to distract them because there's lights in the way. So if we destroy this light, get them to look up. We can dart across to here. This light shouldn't be out. And we can destroy that light, which will distract them again. Get them to move over there. Look the other way, please. You should turn around look the other way in a second. Yeah, there we go. Then we can keep going. This way. 
Okay, so these lasers, basically there's no easy way to turn them off. You just have to keep ducking out of their path using these vents each time one comes by. And then you get to here, which lets you turn them off. <laughs> I did it first, first round there, because it was pretty easy. Uh, here we go, some more lasers. So yeah, you got to duck into these little doorways to hide from the lasers. Swish, like that. Again, the thick red lasers kill you, the little ones just get you detected, but either way, you don't want that to happen, so don't get hit by either of them. Uh, these guards will spot you if you're not careful, but you can just climb up here. Not, no, no, no biggie, really. Here, you want to just duck out, uh, smash this thing. The guards will, you know, notice that something was broken because it makes a big noise. Um, but as long as you duck inside the vent nice and quick, you'll be fine. I know I'm not really acting like a first look here because I'm so familiar with this game already. Sorry about that. Uh, hopefully you're still enjoying the video, regardless. Uh, here, basically, once you've got rid of the lasers, you can just climb up here. Easy peasy. Get another artifact. I don't know why they're just in the middle of the path like this. <sighs> oh, we do want to keep destroying lights. There is actually a seal for destroying 20 lights, so... We could slip right by them. So whenever we see a light, we should probably try to break it, just in case. Just to add towards our 20 lights quota, here you can hide a guard for some reason. It's kind of weird, you wouldn't think you'd be able to hide a guard in this amount of space. When it looks like they're super visible, but you know, you can. So that's handy. Close that. Uh, here there's like guards going on the top, but you can just go into here and completely dodge them, so I don't know what the point of that is. I guess if you wanted to... Can you destroy those lights? Yeah, you can. Alright, so you, you could do that. Actually, you can get all of them, I think. Just like this. Oops, I hit something. Uh... Oh, okay. I accidentally hit a, hit a design commentary there, so I hope you've enjoyed that thing I accidentally opened. Uh, you can see that guy got distracted because I hit the lights, so just make your way forward. Uh, you can see the power is slowly coming on and activating these lights as we make our way through. So that's something to watch out for, as well. Hey, what was that? And that light's come on as well, so we're gonna smash that back there to get that guard to turn around. I'm just gonna walk up, accidentally stab him wrong. Uh, that big noise may have alerted some people, so we're gonna quickly drop him down this hole here. There's also an artifact down here, if you wanted one, you can get one here. There we go. Let's just peep through here. Okay, we're good. I don't know how you can peep through doors like that. <laughs> Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, you can't smash those lights with the metal on them, so not much point trying. If you can throw a, um, what's it called at them? A dart, but it doesn't actually break him. It just makes the noise. Not as much noise, actually, as breaking a light does. Just a little bit of noise. Like a, like a plink sort of thing. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go this way. You can just climb up any wall. You don't really need to wall jump in this game because you can just stick to all the walls and just walk up them. But you can get a little bit of height from wall jumping, so it's kind of cool to do it, I guess. Oh, uh, there's our, our ninja buddy there. Up. Just, just cling into the wall, cling into the wall. There we go. What did it do? Just want to make sure I don't miss anything, basically. The path is pretty straightforward, but there's, there is some hidden stuff here and there, so it's good to have a look around. Fifteenth floor. The oh, this, is, this part's pretty cool. Right basically, we shut, we shut off the generator, so the power is slowly going to start coming back on for each floor in turn. I think it's pretty neat. So this is the floor we're on right now, the power's going to come on, but I already smashed some of the lights. So, I'll be fine for a little bit. Oops. And you can see the lights are starting to flicker on in the next room. Do you want to try to remain undetected here? There is a seal for reaching the top of the tower without being detected, so we're going to work on that. Uh, we're getting close to 20 lights as well, so that's cool. 
Uh, I can see some footsteps in there, so there's clearly someone wandering around. Okay, this is now the 16th floor, so the power's gonna come on as we make our way through this floor, as you can see. We get some points for distracting the guards, which is nice. Yeah, it is a little tricky to aim at a precise object when there's something bigger in the way. Which is a little annoying. It's manageable though. Uh, okay, I've kind of made myself a bad situation here. <laughs> I think if I wait around a little bit for the guards to get back to their regular patterns, I should be okay. Okay, that's me. Oh no! So you can't, you actually can't get detected or the seal will fail, so yeah. Oh, I've got to make my way up without that happening. Okay, I think it might be easier to do from here. Actually, I think I just made a checkpoint like three seconds ago, which is kind of weird. As I said, this game is very generous with checkpoints. Oops. But yeah, you use a lot of points for that happening, but it's okay because you can get them out back pretty pretty quickly. You can't really throw a dart and not at something, so if you don't want if you want to like distract a guard by throwing a dart at the wall, that's not an option. Unfortunately. Uh, I don't know if I can jump over that. No, I can't. I think basically I'm going to have to use an item or something. The situation I'm in is just not great. I might be able to drop down on this guy. No, I haven't got the drop down on people move yet. It's a little annoying that you don't start with various uh, assassination techniques. I guess the idea is to encourage stealth at the beginning of the game rather than gung-ho action, I guess. Um... Okay, I've just thrown a dart at that guard, which will get some attention. I don't know if they're going to know to look down, though. Okay, good. There we go, that's more like it. Okay. Okay, so that guard's sort of wandering back and forth. Oh dear. That was scary. <laughs> uh, here there's a little side vent you can duck into to get an artifact and hide this guy. There we go. And you can up to the uh, 17th floor. So you just keep going up each floor and the power comes on a little bit after you've entered the floor. Oh dear. Yeah, if I, had, if I had some more assassination moves, that'd be real great. Oops. This would be a lot easier if I had the option to, like, stab people from below the vent, for example, which you can do later in the game. Just pull them down. It's pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna break uh, one of these lights. Probably that one. Be best. Get a distraction. There we go. And we can stab this guy. There we go. So this obviously isn't a no kills run or anything. Uh... Oops. Oh yeah, I forgot that the, that happens. Right. <laughs> okay, let's let's try this one more time. So we just come up, kill this guy. Break a light to destroy that guy, to get to distract that guy. We can't kill him from cover yet, we haven't got that move. That is a move you can get, but we haven't got it yet. Okay, then the lights come on, and peek through there. There's no other guard, so that's okay. Uh, I'm just going to stay here near the guard, just so we can not get spotted by that laser. There we go. Now let's head on through. Break another light. I think I've broken all the lights I need to, so yeah, I can stop doing that now. If, although it's good to destroy lights, they're handy to distract people. Uh, you can see I couldn't have gone 
further down there because the this overhang is too big to climb up. But this one you have to go on the outside of the building. You're almost at the roof. Okay, floor 19. Turning the power back on for 19. I don't know if that was a detection or not. I think I was quick enough. Yeah, I didn't say I failed the seal, so that probably counted. Okay, there's another guard over there. I believe you can open a door in the darkness, that's okay. The guards don't care. <laughs> Even though logically they probably should. Did I hear something? Weird that the light went out. You can jump up on these to dodge the guard from seeing you. It didn't really make sense what I just said, but you know, you know what I meant. Uh. I think there's another way around here, which is a bit annoying. Oh no, actually, you can just jump up back here, that's right. Haven't played this in a while. <laughs> yeah, you can just grapple over here, and you can back in here if you want, which is good because there's a scroll in here. Lint of Shurike. Reflects as fear in the eye. Or Tetsuji's prey. Is someone there? Hey! Dead now. Okay. Uh, Turning the power back on for 19. It's a little bit less generous about where it gives you checkpoints in this one. It's not bad though. Oh my goodness. Mistakes are being made by the me. So you just don't want to get spotted at all. Even like under normal circumstances when you're not being given the seal or not being spotted. You're just not good with regular combat. You've just got little punches and stuff which aren't very good. As long as you're quick enough though, you'll be okay. There we go. You're dead now. You can grapple these safely? Yeah, they don't hear you. Stab. He was dead. Uh, already get this? Okay, you get the points again. So that's worth doing. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, hang on, there might be something behind that door. Hang on. Let's make sure I don't miss anything. Okay, there's something back here. So there's a laser. I think this might be like a bonus room or something. Maybe the other one was the bonus room though. I don't remember. <laughs> Probably a good thing really, so I can be more of a first thoughts video than normal. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. I'll tell you... Oh, right, that's just another way into this floor. Forgot about that. Okay. See, this is the way I came in. You can actually come in on, on that vent instead. So yeah, there's a couple of alternate paths in each area, which is pretty cool. Not a whole lot of choice, though. Just a little bit of flexibility. I wouldn't call it an odyssey or anything. <laughs> or, a, or a breath of, of the wild, for example. Okay, top of the tower. There we go. I think that's the end of this level. We made it into the complex. This way. Look at that cutie. I'm gonna play as her. But you can't. How do we do honor wise? Let's have a look. Okay, I missed some seals, but otherwise pretty good. Uh, I don't seem to have the option to buy upgrades yet, which is kinda weird. Yeah, quick play menu. What if I need to unlock that option? I don't know how I would unlock it apart from buying upgrades though. Uh, Dosan's Tale is like a DLC with different levels in it. It's pretty cool. Uh, okay, I'm at 45 minutes, so I'm just gonna say 
from what I've played so far, and you know, the fact that I've played this game before and I love it. This game is amazing, and if you like stealth titles, this is an excellent one, and I would absolutely 100% recommend that you play this, because it's a wonderful game, and I love it, and it's great. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on it. Uh, if you like stealth games, if you don't like stealth games, it's a stealth game, it's not your thing. <laughs> But yeah, if you're looking for a stealth title, then this is a stealth title, and you should play it, because it's good. Uh, and it's, it's real fun. And there's a lot of different ways to play through it as well. Um, you get to see more of that as you unlock the different options. Um, you can equip things that make you better at stealth and don't give you a sword. I think you can run without making a sound, stuff like that. And there's one that makes you better at, at using your sword, but stops you from carrying smoke bombs or something like that. So there's like different challenge modes of, of sorts that make you better at certain play styles, which is kind of cool. Uh, the visuals are really nice and really effective in terms of letting you know like whether guards can see you or not. It's, it's never like much of a guess as to whether you're stealthed properly or not because of the way the light system works and the way the vision system works. It's all very like clear and explanatory and also this, this art is really really pretty. So that's good too. <laughs> um, and the controls are great. Uh, this game is great. Sound is great too. It's just a really good game. And if you like stealth titles, I would recommend playing Mark of the Ninja because it's really good. Um, yeah. Um, I might cut off the video there, I reckon. 46 minutes, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, that's it for now.